Hey guys, this is Gabby from Brain Education TV. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. We make weekly videos on wellness tips for the brain. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. In this video, I will talk about one key principle that will help you take care of your overall health in your mind and your body. This principle describes energy circulation in the body and it is uncovered by thousands of years of study in Asian medicine. It has been also taught for over 40 years in many mind-body training programs by creator of brain education, Ilchi Li. This principle is called water up, fire down. And in an energy sense, it means keeping a cool head and a warm belly is the most optimal energy state that your body can be in. When you're cool headed, you can be calm, focused, and think clearly, right? You're not usually stressed, you don't have that much anxiety or depression, and you can find solutions to your problems more easily. And when your belly is warm, the circulation in your physical body is healthy. Your intestines are relaxed and work better when they're warm. So then your digestion works better, your blood circulates better, your hormones get secreted better, and you overall feel warmer and your hands and feet also feel warmer as well. Your immunity also increases at higher core temperatures, so then your gut flora can be healthier and you can just feel better overall. So the essence of Water Up, Fire Down is keeping a cool head and a warm belly so that you can maintain balance and harmony in your body and face the challenges, stresses, or sicknesses that come into your life. So how does Water Up, Fire Down work? We get energy in our bodies through the food we eat, but that food isn't always able to help you maintain a warm belly all the time. As we breathe, the air we breathe in goes down to our belly, mixes with the food we eat and our intestines, and it creates heat there. Then that heat energy travels to your kidneys, and your kidneys have water, so they create vapor that go up on the back of your spine and go up to the back of your head and that's how it cools your head. So basically it's like a circular rotation of circulation, food coming in, air coming into your belly and then warming up your belly and through exercises, other things, warming up your belly and it moves to your kidneys and the back of your body and goes back up and comes up to your head and cools your head. How do you attain water up, fire down? One way, and it's pretty obvious, but it's eating well and taking care of yourself. So not eating junk food and saturated foods, salt, sweets, and you know things that aren't good for your body, really taking care of yourself, exercising. That's one way to create that natural energy circulation in your body. But for most people, exercising and eating healthy isn't enough to maintain heat in their abdomen and cool energy in their head. So there are exercises that we teach in brain education that could warm your core, deepen your breathing, and also cool your head. In brain education, there are three top exercises to attaining water up, fire down energy circulation, and they are belly button healing, Danjan tapping and intestine exercises. So I will link below information about those three and you can try videos that we've made on this channel of routines and tutorials and also read a bit more about them. Also, Il Chi Li has released a book specifically on this principle of water up, fire down, and it has many exercises, meditations, principles, routines, all kinds of information you would need to help you guide you through water up, fire down and achieving the optimal energy state so that you can live your life overall healthier in your mind and your body. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this mini lesson on the optimal energy state in the mind and body and the principle of water up, fire down. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them down below. We look at every single comment and respond to you all. 
We love talking to our audience, so please leave anything down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.